Hey y'all, so today I wanna to talk about CubeSats. So I actually have this really cool cardboard cutout of a CubeSat, so I'm gonna build it while I talk a little bit about them. CubeSats are a class of miniaturized satellites used for space research that use a standard size and form factor. That standard size being one unit, which measures 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters. They're usually used for low Earth orbit, which is about 1200 miles above Earth's surface. But recently, they've actually been being used for interplanetary missions as well. For an example, Mars Cube 1, or MARCO, which was a Mars flyby mission that consisted of CubeSats that launched alongside NASA's InSight Mars Lander mission. They are very desirable because they don't weigh much, meaning your rocket doesn't need a lot of fuel to get them to space, and they can also participate in rideshare where you put multiple CubeSats in one rocket. They make it possible to do cutting edge research for a fraction of the cost of traditional satellites. Here's the final product. So you're gonna see four different boards in here, as well as the antenna. These are called printed circuit boards. And this total thing is called your printed circuit board stack. The first board is called the payload. The payload can include data collectors like sensors and instruments or just science research. A communication subsystem, communication is very important as this is how you communicate from the satellite to the ground stations on Earth. The third is your electrical power subsystem. This usually includes solar cells, rechargeable batteries, and a power distribution unit. And finally, the command and data handling system. This is how you control your CubeSat in space. It's like the brain of the operation. This is a solar panel which harnesses the power of the sun by converting light energy to electrical energy. Friends, so this is part three of my CubeSat mini series, and I want to talk a little bit about my own research experience with CubeSats. If you remember from part one of my CubeSat mini series, I said that CubeSats are measured in units of 1U, and 1U is equivalent to 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters. So it's a cube that measures 10 centimeters all around. So if you stack three 1U CubeSats on top of each other, you get a 3U CubeSat. For size reference, that's about the length of a loaf of bread. Not totally perfect, but equivalent. As you would imagine, this is not a lot of space to condense the operations of an entire spacecraft. Now to talk about the Albus CubeSat. The Albus stands for Advanced Electrical Bus, and the goal of this mission was to be a technology demonstration in space of a 3U CubeSat and how it would distribute and manage relatively high power for this small volume how it would distribute and manage relatively high power for this small volume. And if you're dealing with high power, you're typically dealing with high heat. And so it's a very important consideration to think about how are you gonna get rid of the heat that you accumulate in your spacecraft bus. Too much heat can result in damage of your electrical systems depending on their temperature threshold. And it could also pose a grave danger to whatever science payload you have on board. So it's a very important thing to think about how you're going to first manage and get rid of that excess heat. I actually had the unique opportunity to send my name to space on one of the solar panels of the Albus CubeSat, which was launched on December 16th of 2018 um, by Rocket Labs on their Electron rocket as part of the ELENA, which stands for Education Launch Initiative, CubeSat Launch. So that's all I have to say about CubeSats for the time being. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you learned something interesting.